<laughs> You're slightly biased, though. Yeah, I am slightly biased, but what the hell? It's a great film, too. You know, I, I'm a bit full of nepotism, so, I mean, I'm really partial to my brother's film, This Is My Father, so, you know. Uh, I like a lot of Neil Jordan's films. Uh, I think Angel is incredibly beautiful. Yeah, the father. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, commitment. Maybe intermission. Maybe my left foot. But when you're away, what's, what do you miss the most? Um, the sense of humour. A few tunes and a bit of Irish music and a bit of crack and all that stuff. Good point of Guinness. <laughs> my dad's a butcher, so I so miss the meat. <laughs> and when you think of Ireland, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, Guinness. Uh, sounds such a cliche answer, but I'm afraid it's true. <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of I think of family when I think of Ireland, but I, you know, that's, that's going to sound really over the top, but it's true. You know, all the great writers come from Ireland. Uh, the weather is another thing. But I, I really do, you know, it's cold here now, but it's really, there's something beautiful about the way that the weather changes so quickly here, you know, in, in the skies. The biggest trend coming across this season is sequence. Sparkle and sequence is absolutely flooding the marketplace. Traditionally, we would have seen sequins in colours such as reds and purples and lots of other colours because of Christmas. of floral fashion, from clashing prints of Dolce & Gabbana to Stella McCartney's abstract cherry blossoms and English roses at Erdem, not to mention the garden of goodies on the high street. For floral fashion at great price points, you simply can't beat H&M. Key pieces from their spring-summer collection include these cute culottes for $29.95, Leggings for just $12.95 and this on-trend summer sweater dress for $39.95. Every year millions of euro worth of drugs, tobacco and cash are seized here at Dublin Airport. I'm here to meet the team of people and animals that make that happen. So Robin, you're the higher executive officer here. What exactly does that role entail? It entails uh, managing all of the uniform staff that work around the airport on a 24-7 basis. He has ataxia, which is due to the, in, the brain injury, which is like a, a shake. His speech is affected, his memory, he'd have a, a loss of memory. I suppose his understanding of different situations isn't, isn't as clear as, as it was. The nature of a brain injury, it's not like it, 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 you, you reach a point where it's finished. It's going on all the time. Every day I'm having to cope with it. I'm an environmental health officer working in the Greater Dublin area. I currently work in the area of food control and that involves a large amount of duties including the inspection of premises ranging from anything from a hospital to a nursing home to a cafe. It also involves taking of samples and obviously the following up of customer complaints. Now, from minimalist to modern art deco to eco, design guru Kieran Sweeney has been showing us around Ireland's most stylish homes for many, many weeks now. Was he saving the best for last? 
when you see this, I think you'd agree, I think he definitely was saving the best class. We're heading, of course, to the heart of Wicklow to find out. Have a look at this. <laughs> In the old days anyway, they built the big houses in very good locations, commanding lovely views. Uh, Paddy, this is a very special place. The most striking thing as you just enter is these beautiful tiles right through. They are the original to the, to, to the house. There's a smell to this home that, that combines kind of old books and timber and burnt fire and old things. Brian, uh, my first question is, as a young boy, do you ever imagine that you would win an Ireland medal? I suppose every young fellow in Kilkenny dreams of playing with Kilkenny and having a chance to play in Crow Park and that, you know, and even nowadays you see young fellows around the hurlies and that, they're thinking they're Henry Sheffield or Tommy Welch or somebody. I suppose when you're young you always think you might do it. Who's your favourite hero of all time? Oh, that's a tough one, Michael. My favourite hero of all time, my goodness me. When I was young, was Tipperary Hurler, Jimmy Doyle. He was one of my heroes at the time, which is a sort of a strange thing now, I suppose.